Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel, Fire Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your June monthly reading. It's going to be quick um, and straight to the point. At least I hope so. Uh, if you're a father and you're a Scorpio, happy Father's Day to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but without further ado, let's get into your messages. Set this back there out the way. Uh, let's see, messages for Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Let's see. We just had a new moon in Gemini. I hope you guys took part in that and enjoyed that. Oh, here we go. The deck was right in front of me, so I don't know what's going on. Can't see. Anyway, guys. If you guys are taking part in any endeavors, I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright? And let's see. Messages here for Scorpio. Um, I'm actually stepping out myself. I just got dressed, so I just want to... Jump on real quick and do your message real fast before I got out. Let's see. It says, library, take control of your own narrative. 22. So some of you guys could be uh, 22 years of age. Some of you guys may be a life path number 2. Okay, or possibly life path number four. Um, but the library, some of you guys may need to visit a library or may need to go to the library. Maybe your printer stopped working or something like that. You might, might be having to go to the library to do some things there. But if not, then this is just basically saying spirit wants you guys to take over, you know, take control over your life. You know, write your own story, create your own happiness. Basically is what I'm getting here. Um, don't, you may feel like you're being restricted for something, but I feel like if you just do a little bit of more of research about something, you will gain the clarity or the answers that you're seeking. Okay. Someone may be trying to research and get information on you or, uh, someone else may be trying to do this about you. So I don't know. Let's see. If you guys hear any noise in the background, please excuse it. All right. Let's see. What, why is library here for Scorpios? Any other messages here for my Scorpios? It says Phoenix. <clears throat> How's that for happily ever after? Um, number nine. Then we have confidence at the bottom of the deck. It says it comes with time and practice. Uh, 23. So life path number five, possibly something could have happened five days ago, five weeks ago, or something will happen. Okay. I feel like somewhere along your journey here, you're going to get um, inspiration. So maybe you guys need to go on like a road trip, take a day or two to yourselves and kind of just get away. Maybe just... I don't know, go somewhere on like a little staycation, you know, somewhere different in your town. Or like I said, this person looks like they're on like a train or something like that. So you guys may be traveling or maybe flying somewhere to go somewhere or do something here. You may be traveling for work. Whatever you're doing, I feel like you're going to gain some type of clarity and inspiration. And whatever that is for you guys, it's going to lead to some type of change here. We have Phoenix. How's that for happily ever after? Um, and it says... Once upon a time, okay? So, again, maybe you guys need to write a book. Maybe you guys are authors and you don't know it. Um, maybe you've been sitting on something that you wanted to have published and you guys never published it. Maybe now is the time to go ahead and publish whatever you guys have to publish or want, been wanting to publish or whatever the case may be. So, let's see. I don't know. Let's get into some of these tarot for you guys. Sorry, guys. I'm just going... Turn this camera a little bit here. Alright. Perfect. Alright, so let's see. Messages here for Scorpio. Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. So what is this that uh, Scorpios need to create, um, need to let go of basically being fearful? I don't know. So bungee jumping I'm seeing? So maybe someone's afraid to try something different? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't do bungee jumping, me personally, but I do want to skydive. I actually tried it, <laughs> the Eight of Cups. Might be discouraged from doing something here. Yeah, Eight of Cups in the full of the world. Or some of you guys, I feel like, again, you're going to gain that confidence to go ahead and go forward towards something or with something here. All right. So we shall see. Let's do that there. All right. So coming out, we have the Queen of Pentacles towards Virgo or Capricorn energy here. We also have the Eight of Wands, some type of communication. Or again, the inspiration could be coming from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. This could be like a mother figure or like a, a um, maybe not maybe someone you may look up to, okay, to gain kind of confidence from or inspiration from. And we have the King of Cups here, well, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. 
So I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is going to be communicating towards you guys. Maybe it's going to be some type of opportunity for you guys. And you guys are a little intimidated on taking... Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the world, the Fool, and the Eight of Cups. So whatever this is, I feel like you guys are going to be motivated to do it. A little nervousness type of energy I'm getting here. But I feel like all in all, once you break away from being nervous or you know, scarce minded or whatever to have you, I feel like it will be successful for you guys. So this could be something new or different that you guys are trying to do. And it's a little, I understand. Yeah. Six of swords, but your spirit guys and angels are saying yes. Um, what other messages here? What's coming? What's going on with this queen of pentacles? What other messages is here for Scorpios? Whoa, the Ace of Swords is coming out the deck for you guys here, okay? So, truth and clarity. So, honestly, discuss your feelings here with this Queen of Pentacles. And if this is some type of business or job or work proposition or whatever the case may be, you know, discuss it. Let them know what your needs are so your, your um, basically, so, like, your demands can be met in the sense, in a, in a way, basically, is what I'm getting here. Uh, Eight of Swords and a Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the Eight of Cups. So it may require some some of you guys to be away from home or be away from family. Um, to let go of some type of a connection here. Temporarily is kind of what I'm getting here. But I mean, just honestly discuss that what you're doing here or what is it is that you need uh, to feel like you need to be successful. So whatever that is for you. If you need to make, you know, $83,000 a year, then you need to be clear with the company about that. And uh, if they're giving you an entry level position, um, then, you know, yeah, the lovers is at the bottom of the deck now. If this is like an entry level position and they're saying that, you know, we can start you out at like 65,000, 70,000, then you need to implement, well, how am I going to recover, you know, the difference of what I'm needing to have here. Yeah, we have the nine of cups in the reverse here. We have the seven of cups in the reverse here. We have the moon in reverse here and we have the ten of swords in the reverse here. As my phone is dinging here, confirmation. So I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be another opportunity to uh, grab something or to get something here that you've been wanting. Yeah, the lovers. And we have the higher font here and the Knight of Cups here. So, okay, Scorpio. So this is some type of opportunity that, that looked like it may have missed you in the past. But I feel like there's going to be another something is going to be approaching you here. You may also get to close out a cycle here because the Nine of Cups is like something being wish fulfilled, but it also could represent um, someone overdoing something here, right, Scorpios? So this could have been, you know, you guys, you know, being over emotional, over vulnerable here. Um, maybe drinking too much or just overindulging in something here or allowing your emotions to control a narrative in your life here which is not the outcome that the universe wants for you guys. So the Ten of Swords in the reverse here, you could be just, like I said, either something's coming back around towards you guys. Either this is a friendship, a partnership, a job. I don't know, something that you didn't get fully previously is what I'm getting here. We're going to clarify, but the overall energy is the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this change is going to be for you guys is going to make you guys really happy. Um, it could be someone from the past coming back for you guys, but I feel like there is communication that's coming in from my Scorpios. I feel like hear someone out or someone needs to hear you out. We have the Queen of Pentacles is the Eight of Swords is coming out here. We also have <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, the Five of Wands, the Knight, the King of Cups again. The King of Cups is here. And the Knight of Swords. So again, this could have been someone that you may have had like a falling out with here. And I feel like there was just like some type of misunderstanding here or miscommunication here about something here. I don't know if you really feel like someone really wanted something here with this Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups energy. Someone may have sought out other options to, to uh, attract this success towards them here. Because with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like there's some type of a level or degree of success here because we have... How's that for a happily ever after? This could have also been someone that maybe didn't see your value or your worth in something here. And maybe you had to, so you thought that this connection was going to lead you to like your nine of cups, you know, bliss, happiness. But in, in the end, there was some type of betrayal here with the ten of swords and the moon and the seven of cups. So something didn't really plan out or work out the way that you intended it to. You hoped that it would. But I feel like the universe is going to give you another another shot here maybe in on your own or something like that here and whoever this person was that didn't really 
I don't know, see you as being, I don't know, like the missing piece or something like that. Well, yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles on the Eight of Wands here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? We have the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. See, look at this. I feel like the universe is going to give you something here because you didn't give up. You didn't let go. Maybe you didn't seek revenge to whatever this was, this deal that fell through down here at the bottom. Okay, so what's this King of Cups here? Yeah, the Four of Cups, something that you're not going to see coming in. The Moon in Reverse, Ten of Swords in Reverse. So this is something that really hurts you guys mentally, physically, and emotionally here. Yeah, the King of Wands, you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. But I feel like the universe is getting ready to fix this. We have the Knight of Cups. On the King of Cups, we've got the Knight of Cups here. And the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. The High Priestess, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups. So I feel like some of you guys can feel that this is something that's coming in for you guys. I just, you may not really know what it is exactly here. You guys could be feeling something tethering, pulling at you. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you guys. The Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck now. And the Empress and the Six of Cups. The star. So I'm telling you, something the universe is getting ready to make up for something. Something that you had to deal with, go through, whatever that situation was for some of you guys here. For some of you guys, I do feel like it's like a um opportunity, a networking opportunity that I'm getting that fell through. Okay. What's the ace of swords here for Scorpios? What's the ace of swords for my Scorpios? Okay. Two of Cups and the Queen. Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> oh, for some of you guys, this could be a lover confessing. Damn, and the Eight of Wands again. Uh, I love it. Oh, and the look, the lovers. What did I say? Someone could be confessing here. It could be a Virgo. It could be a um a Libra. It could be a Pisces. Yeah, it could be a Pisces. It could be a Taurus. Could be anybody but i do feel like someone wants to do something here what is what are they going to say here with the two of cups the queen of cups and the ace of wands i mean sorry ace of swords excuse me oh ace of cups at the bottom of the deck and the three of swords here the page of swords so i feel like the yeah in the will of fortune so i feel like whoever wronged you or did you wrong here scorpios or if you did someone wrong then this person is getting ready to be rewarded and, and blessed by the universe here by either another job, another contract, another partnership, whatever the whatever that was. So I feel like again, if you guys are story writers or narrators or you know you have a children's book or something like that here, I feel like you need to put that information out here. Yeah, look, the ten of swords in the reverse too, coming out again. It came out right here in the reverse. This someone is that's not going to hurt you guys. If this is a new person here, the devil, the lovers. The Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone that's madly in love with somebody here or has like high feelings for somebody. What's this Nine of Cups in the verse, Seven of Cups, the Moon, the Ten of Swords? Give me four cards to clarify that. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. I couldn't even pick it up. What's the Seven of Cups in the reverse? The Moon upright. What's the Moon in the reverse now? So I'm telling you guys, something's going to be revealed, exposed to you, or whoever this is resonating with here. I feel like you're going to get what you've been wanting. Yeah, Six of Cups. What's the Ten of Swords in the reverse for Scorpios? You had the Lover show up twice. Up the Queen of Wands. Okay. At the bottom of the deck here, we have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy here. We also have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, okay, and the Seven of Swords. Uh, the Seven of Wands, the Empress, the King of Wands. Let's clarify this lovers at the bottom of the deck for you guys. Who is the lovers for Scorpio? Who is this person from their past? The Two of Pentacles coming out on the side. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck for you guys. Let's see. We have the Four of Wands. The Two of Pentacles came out kind of sideways here. So this could have been someone that was not sure if they wanted the relationship 
or a connection or if they wanted to be with you or work with you yeah the ace of wands um at the bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles the knight of wands the eight of wands the ten of cups again the death four of swords the ace of swords so what i'm getting here is if you guys have been separated from someone for a while whether this is a business person a family member a lover it doesn't matter a job or something that you may have applied for you didn't hear back i feel like you're going to be getting some type of communication coming in it very well may be a phone call email or a text message i'm getting an email <clears throat> but someone wants to give you this offer give you this opportunity here well let's clarify this card here which i typically don't do what is the phoenix for scorpios give us clarity on this phoenix for the uh yeah look the strength card so someone may have been being strong minded strong willed to like you know maybe not reach out to you guys not communicate with you guys but i feel like it may happen with the two of wands the strength at the bottom of the deck is the five of cups the nine of wands what's the strength and the two of wands on the phoenix this could be a leo yeah the nine of cups is jumping out okay so whatever this is and we have the hangman upright, the emperor, the king of cups, the three of wands, page of swords, queen of swords. Nine of swords in reverse here now. Okay. What's the wish just coming in here for Scorpios or for this Leo or six of pentacles? So this part in the ten of pentacles, six of wands, the sun, the three of swords, the eight of pentacles. All right. So this person, is again, someone's going to be rewarded with something here from the universe with the higher font at the bottom of the deck here let's go here for you guys let's see we have tuesday that's falling out here so we do have juneteenth that's coming up on monday okay so some businesses and major places are closed on monday so tuesday you guys very well may hear some type of news yeah we got travel jumping over here what else for scorpios We have what is this bright light okay so that's being guided and directed by the heavens universe whatever you guys resonate with we have I don't give a fuck okay we have baby okay so someone may be finding out that someone got someone pregnant here I do care so I'm confused they don't give a fuck about the baby but they do care or maybe somebody's saying they don't give a fuck that they got a baby by somebody else I don't know <clears throat> we have aqua here so there could be an Aquarius in the picture somewhere I'm scared and last week <clears throat> so this may be someone's child that is pregnant okay and someone may not be wanting to tell like a, a dad or like a mom and someone else is like I don't give a fuck like you need to come up you need to you know speak up I'm, I didn't mean to say come up I cry over you war or this could be someone email and look email I cry over you war oh what gushy I didn't mean to grab that one um, but we have email so I don't know this could also be someone that's finding out that they got someone pregnant and maybe someone's like you know they not they don't give a fuck they're not doing shit for you for the baby or something like this here and got somebody crying here yeah we have text mail in the reverse what the hell okay did something flip over it flipped over and then went back in so let's see any other messages here for Scorpios I made a mistake uh oh we have come back to me and drunk okay so someone made a mistake because they were drunk so someone may have slept with somebody slipped up we have um rich bitch we have big pipe we have ladybug and ownership so i don't know someone could have got digmatized uh coochie-matized something like that but for others of you this is someone else that is getting um some type of recognition here we had the star card come up ten of pentacles show up nine of pentacles six of pentacles i mean a lot we got patience be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace so just let sit back and let it come to you guys work on healing let's get one more i'm being drawn to get one more give me one more for scorpio please we have intuition it says trust your intuition as it has been guiding you to answers that you seek so you know ask your angels clearly for the signs you could be seeing synchronicities um, okay, we have channel. You are a channel through which healing energies reaches the world. So some of you guys may be like a spiritual uh, practitioner of some sort here, maybe Reiki. 
uh, could do what I do. Maybe you're a tarot reader or something like that here, but maybe you don't know. So maybe there's something that you may need. So maybe something that you discovered on something that may have healed you. You could possibly do a book about it, okay? Or something like that. Put the content in writing in some type of way and be profitable off of it. All right, so take it how it resonates. Let's see, messages here from the Hidden Truth deck for Scorpios. So I do see some of you guys traveling soon. You guys could be going to some type of invitations. I trusted you is falling out here. So someone's upset that someone broke their trust. We have, I would do it all again. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know if this is someone that's taking a chance on themselves here. And they're saying like, you know, I would bet on me again. I would do it all over again. Or give you an opportunity all over again. Or someone would just flat out say like, hey, you know, I would get drunk and I would make this mistake. I would do it all over again. Whatever this person did. I miss hearing your voice. Okay. Or if this had one, had someone had to go off to work or something like that. Um, I feel like someone saying like, you know, I'll make this choice all over again, you know. I don't know what that may be, but I feel like someone's chasing after their stability here, and they're like, you know, I would make this choice all over again. You broke my heart, okay? So maybe someone maybe fell in love with someone else, and someone's like, you know, I do have feelings for you. I do care about you, but I would do it all over again because I met the love of my life here, or something that I took a chance on for me, it changed my life here, and I would do it all over again. I don't know. Or I would leave you again, all over again, whatever. Take it how it resonates. Um, I have too much to lose. Came out again. So this is someone that made a change for them and their lives here. And maybe someone from their past is coming back. I want to make amends. Okay. So I don't know. I can't reach out. So someone feel like they can't reach out. They can't communicate about whatever this is. Messages for Scorps. We have Citrine at the bottom of the deck. It says unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God and healing solutions. Okay. 222 was on the timer there. So you guys could be seeing 222. All right. We have Azorite. It says deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. You are willing to devote time and energy towards your therapeutic care. So some of you guys need to definitely do some therapeutic caring. Um, I know I took a spiritual bath this morning when I got up. I was led to do it last night, but it happened this morning. So I'm glad that I did my personal therapeutic care and rituals and routines that I typically incorporate in myself. I know I've been, you know, kind of delaying things a little bit that I usually type, typically do. But, you know, sometimes it be like that. We have rhodocyte it says be gentle with yourself you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover scorpios can y'all please go ahead and heal um i do personalize and customize spiritual baths depending on your needs um but if it's not for me then from somebody that you know look into taking a spiritual bath do some regimens to uh ward out the negative energies the blockages that you guys may be creating with yourself we got the eight of swords which is mental conflict within yourself maybe not being confident enough to do something to go forward with something but again remember scorpios you are the narrative in your own life so you can take control of your own life and write and create your own story i'm gonna say it again write and create your own story create your own happiness devote yourself to something that is meaningful to you and watch that transition into something powerful and beautiful you just have to believe in yourself we have tanzanite ready to love again uh, so look this is spirit saying look once you do this it's going to clear out some type of block that you guys have created with the eight of swords it says tanzanite ready to love again you've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love so whatever this is this is a new job this is actually you know meeting new people or new person in particular that you're gonna you know hit it off with it's gonna be very successful very attractive we have the ace of wands ace of swords ace of pentacles this is only also be something that god's going to gift you with I'm getting that really strongly. Something's going to be given to you. Someone's going to see you as the opportunity or, or the missing piece that they've been needing for some type of project that someone's doing here. We have Tiger's Eye. Self-confidence through God's confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So all things are possible through the Lord, through Jesus, through God, through the universe, through the angels, ancestors, spirit guides, whatever you guys subscribe to, right? Um, 
they are the ones behind the scene that's making it possible they are the ones behind the scenes that's trying to give you the the notions to move forward to make some type of change in your life or to do something differently here in your life because it's going to lead you to somewhere that's going to be very rewarding for you guys we have the nine of cups that showed up or if this was a missed opportunity and maybe they presented something to you to show you how something could be but you may not have been fully ready for it at the moment so they gave you a taste of it to let you experience it Pulled you back from the situation and say, hey, we don't really want you to go in it on that particular way, but we want you to see what you will get fulfilled with if you do something here, whatever that is. So I don't know, with the nine of cups in the reverse, seven of cups in the reverse, you felt like an opportunity was given to you and then taken from you and given to someone else. Or the seven of cups is confusion. Like why why did God let this happen just for it to be removed from me? So whatever they gave to you and took from you, you had to take a step back from the situation to reevaluate it. Maybe, again, you guys weren't necessarily really ready for it. And if you were, then that's cool. But maybe there was something else that you had to learn to incorporate with something and do something differently. Take it how it resonates. Let's keep it moving. Uh, let's go here real quick for... You guys, so this is either energy for you or someone around you. We have trust at the bottom coming up. We have forgiving and learning. Uh, okay, as you're releasing heal of the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We also have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Scorpios, okay? So again, if something was presented to you and then removed from you, it's because you had to learn something in that situation so forgive yourself for not being fully successful or not something fully working out or for the misunderstanding and spirit is letting you know that they're going to revise the situation for you guys so that way it does go in your favor because we have this coming back around whatever this missed opportunity was this nine of cups in the reverse was seven of cups the confusion the not actually getting some the wish falling through your fingertips here it's coming back with the ten of swords in the reverse ten of swords in the reverse the nine of pentacles you know we have all that maybe someone that you were dealing with was deceptive or maybe scorpio you was a de deceptive person and maybe this is why spirit pulls something away from you i don't know take it how it resonates but whatever if something didn't work out for you is because you know god was protecting you from whatever uh we have honeymoon enjoy this bliss of holiday time together it says give a relationship a chance work on your partnership at the bottom of the deck let's see what fell out for you guys and we're going to keep it moving uh, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right. So there we go. If you made contact and you reached out to someone in reference to something, just let it happen naturally. Let things unfold naturally. It says extra angels. Okay. Any other message for Scorpios before we get out of here? Please and thank you. Scorpios for June 2023. It says look for a sign. There, I'm telling you guys, this universe will grant you some type of sign synchronicity it's a yes okay it says there is something better i can't make it up this is why that opportunity didn't work out this is why they let you experience let you taste this whatever this was but they said okay so you see that you are you know maybe good enough to have it you know you're strong enough to be able to handle something but we didn't want you to quite work with that group over there we may want you to be independent or it may be something better that we want you to do that's still going to lead you to the abundance and the wishes that you desire but just not the way that you thought that you were going to receive them something like that is here let's go to kipper and we're done all right let's see but there is something better. When one door closes, another door opens up. See? See what I'm saying? Imprisonment here. So this could be spiritual jail. We do have the Eight of Swords that showed up for you guys. This could be physical jail for someone. We have courthouse. So the five here is changed. So you may have to go to court to handle something legally here. Or someone may be taking you to court, Scorpios, for something that you may have done towards them or vice versa. Or this is the universe stepping in and putting your ass in jail. Because you are a false person, Scorpio, or someone around you is a false person here. Eight could be important here. Something could happen in eight days, 11 days, five, between five and 11 days for some of you guys. Let's keep shuffling. Or again, the situation didn't work out because this person was going to be making bad investments here. Or this person was going to steal from you or something like that. Something illegally was going to be done to you guys because this person is a deceptive false person. Let's see. 
We have sudden wealth. Wow, 11. I can't make it up. So spirit removed you from this connection here, this partnership, this job, this community, this person, whatever this was, because they wanted you to have something on your own independently, sudden wealth, or this is what you did to someone, and now spirit is going to be giving somebody something here. Because we, again, we have the nine of cups that was in the reverse. So that's something that's not being fulfilled here, emotionally not fulfilling. Um, it wasn't going to work out in your favor, guys, if the opportunity again came and presented itself and then you were removed from it because spirit was protecting you guys. They had, look, something better for you. There's something better for you guys and there's sudden wealth, okay? And message. What's the sudden wealth here for Scorpios or the person that this is associated with? Oh, a wealthy man. Okay. All right. We have child. We have mature man. We have community. So I don't know. So something's going to happen here for you guys concerning a wealthy man, wealthy woman. Uh, but that's what I have for you guys, Scorpios. Let me get you guys one from here. The message for Scorpios and we're done. Okay. Universe is trying to create something for you guys. Or deliver something to you guys. Let's see. I lie and trust. So just trust in the universe. Trust that your angels are going to be, you know, doing what's best for you. We see that there's a snake there. Again, transformation, shedding skin, gr growing and learning a new way of being or doing things or a new way of existing. Also, this is also spirit, um, you know, keeping you from being vulnerable out and open because we know snakes typically attack when they see their prey being vulnerable okay it says i am accepting and it says i speak with good intent so this came out in leo's energy or reading okay so you guys may have leo in your chart or you may be dealing with the leo or something like that here leo energy did show up on the table for you guys today so you might want to check out leo's reading or this could be a leo that you guys did this to and this is the leo's that's going to experience some type of sudden wealth um, because there's something better that the universe is going to give to this Leo. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But that's what I have for you guys, okay? Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Just know that whatever didn't work out for you guys is because it was for your own good not to. Because God has something better for you guys, okay? Whatever you were going to be connecting with, partnering with, or whatever the case may be, it wasn't really in your best interest from the universe's perspective. And this is why this change is coming in here, okay? Um, because something wasn't being... Um, so, or, so maybe you wasn't being recognized for something that you were actually putting work in behind the scenes, okay? Because it says library, take control of your own narrative. So maybe someone was trying to like not give you credit for what you did or something like that here. And so the universe is saying, no, nah, like you're not going to, you know, ride off of my baby's back and, you know, not give them what they're truly deserving of. So we're going to remove you from the situation because you deserve something better. And the universe is going to give you that, whatever that is for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Uh... Ring the bell so you guys get notified when I go live and or post your readings in the future. But I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay well. Um, happy Father's Day again to you guys if you are a father out there. Um, love, peace, and happiness. Safe travels on this trip or vacation or work-related traveling that you guys may have coming up here in the very near future. Uh, again, my name is Leash. Thank you for joining my channel today. Um, don't leave my channel without subscribing. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Um, that also will allow me to pick up on your energies in future readings, guys. Okay. Um, and if you need anything from me, like a personal reading, a spiritual bath, life coaching, or anything of the nature, look down in the description box down below. You'll find my email and I'll be glad to happily help you guys out. Love you guys. Take care. Stay well. Be blessed.